Talkman in there for the Cubs to lead things off this evening. Facing Johan Oviedo of the Pirates. Eight straight. Now Oviedo starts the game with a strikeout. Talkman down swinging to start. Two and two on Nico Horner. A little fly ball. And tracked down by G1 Bay playing at second base tonight for the Pirates. Imperative, the starter goes a little deeper in the game. One, two, three inning, a pair of strikeouts for Oviedo. Now the Pirates come to bat. Marcus Stroman, he has won his last six consecutive starts, and he loves this one hop smash and throws to first. In addition to being an excellent pitcher, I think he's one of the best fielding pitchers I have ever seen. Up one down, and now keep Brian Hayes. And there's a high fly ball to left. Ian Happ coming in, shortstop going out. Happ still coming in, and he can't make the catch. And Hayes is at first. Well, Hayes might be at second base, but he's at first with what they will rule a single. Jack Sawinski steps in. Shallow center, Talkman racing in. Coming in from right is Suzuki to make the catch. Carlos Santana, nothing for four last night. One hopper to Bellinger, kicks the cushion, and that's that. Pirates don't score, nothing, nothing game at the end of one. One down here in the top of the third. Tucker Barnhart at the plate. The pitch. Barnhart drills one deep right center field. This may go, and it is gone. Tucker Barnhart with a home run, his first in a Cubs uniform in a right center field, and the Cubs strike first. A one nothing lead over the Pirates here in the third. One away, here's Ian Happ. Happ pulls one into the right field corner. That's going to be a fair ball bouncing up against the wall. Ian around second might be getting three. Joe having trouble with the ball. It's a one out triple for Ian Happ. Joe thought the ball bounced out of play. I think that's what he's yelling into the umpire Ryan Wills about. I can't tell perfectly there, but it looked like it had bounced out of play. After review, the call on the field is confirmed. It's a fair ball. Pittsburgh loses their challenge. It is a three base hit for Ian Happ. Yeah, and that... now he's hitting over 500 against Oviedo. And let's see if Swanson can drive him in. Inside, it may have hit him in the hand. Dansby is shaken up. He is hit by a pitch. Cubs have had 13 hit batters in the last 16 games. So Dansby in pain, but he is an absolute gamer. He stays in there. The infield moves back. Cody Bellinger at the plate. Runners at first and third with one down. Toward left center field. Coming in and making a shoestring catch as Palacios tagging and scoring as Ian Happ. RBI for Bellinger and the Cubs lead by a pair. Madrigal flying to center his first time. Pretty well hit to left. Back goes Palacios. Still going. Still going. That ball's off the wall. Madrigal pulls in at second with a double. That would probably be a home run in every other park in the league except PNC. <laughs> right? And look at Nick's reaction. Now Barnhart trying to advance the runner. A man at second. Nobody out. Fifth inning. Hit in the air to right. Deep. Back goes Connor Joe near the fence. Makes the catch. Tagging and going to third is Madrigal. Barnhart almost with another extra base knock. RBI opportunity from Mike Talkman. Comes back to strike him out. Fastball at the top of the zone. Third strikeout for Oviedo. So now the infield can back up. Try to get the hitter in Horner. Full count. Guided toward short. Friendly hop. Well, Marcano, and he gets out of it. So working around the leadoff double, Oviedo. They bounced out to short his first time. Connor Joe leading, not running. Swing and a miss, strike three. Delay hitting 293. Lined out to right his first time up tonight. In the air to left center, playable for Hap or Tockman. The latter will make the catch. Two down a man at first. Josh Palacios robbed on a good play by Swanson his last time. This should be routine for Horner. And that retires the side. Five innings of shutout ball in the books for Marcus Stroman. Cubs lead two to nothing. A single to left and single to center. Off the hands to third on the ground. Madrigal takes care of that. One down. Good pitch. 
Here comes the 0 1. Shallow center coming in. Talkman makes a nice sliding catch. Sawinski took one away in the top of the inning, and now he gets robbed on a good play by Talkman. Two down. Stroman picks that one out of midair and shovels to first to end the inning. Play goes one to three. The Pirates go one, two, three. Cubs lead by a pair. Marcus Stroman has been brilliant again tonight, working on a four hit shutout. He was behind three and oh, he comes back to get him. Strikeout number three for Stroman and a very impressive one at that. Yeah, right back to that fastball sinker at 92. Be a one out double for Pittsburgh here in the seventh. Connor Joe at the plate. He's two for two. And the pitch to Connor Joe from Marcus Stroman. Called strike three. Two outs, two on. Stroman working harder in this inning than he has in any other frame of the night. And now Cal Mitchell steps in. He got him. Stroman strikes out Mitchell to end the inning. After that seventh inning, the Cubs would absolutely love to get an insurance run. Deep drive to right off the bat of Tuckman. It's got a chance. Gone. Mike Tuckman with a home run, and the Cubs lead three to nothing. Pointer is 0 for 3. Moretta delivers. That ball's whacked into left center in the alley. It's going to roll out near the track. Nico is going to be thinking three. Yes, he is around second. Flying toward third. The throw not in time. Nobody out. A run in the bank. Cubs on top. Three nothing. And Suzuki ready to try to drive in another run. That's in the air to left. Should be deep enough. Nico is going to try the catch by Palacios. Here comes Horner. The throw to the plate. A good throw, and he's out at the plate. A double play as we watch the replay. David Ross might want that to be challenged. Yeah, they're going to take does. a look. After review, call on the field's overturn. Runner is safe. There we go. <clears throat> RBI for Seah. Smiles all around. Adbert Alzali now pitching for the Cubs. A 1.97 ERA in 26 appearances this season. He is not allowed a run in eight straight outings, the longest streak of his big league career. And the Buckos are down to their last chance. Mercado hits a pop-up foul territory off to the left, playable for Madrigal, who makes the catch, and the Cubs win again. Another vintage stroll show as the Cubs beat the Pirates 4 to nothing.